एसेट एलोकेशन वो जरूरी फॉर्मूला है आपकी फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग में जो आपको जोखिम से बचाता है जो महंगाई से आपको बचाता है जो आपके आर्थिक लक्ष्यों को पूरा करता है और हाँ मुनाफा भी कमा कर देता है एसेट एलोकेशन आपके आर्थिक सपनों को पूरा करने के लिए कोई नया रामबाण नहीं है ये आपके निवेश की रणनीति में वो पहला कदम है जो आपको सबसे पहले लेना चाहिए नमस्कार मैं हूं आपके साथ कविता थपलियाल ईटी नाउ ईटी नाउ स्वदेश पर आप द मनी शो मनी मंत्रा की ये खास पेशकश देख रहे हैं जहां पर आज हमारा फोकस होने वाला है एसेट एलोकेशन पर साल कोई सा भी हो हमेशा एसेट एलोकेशन पर जब भी हम लंबी निवेश की रणनीति की बात करते हैं तो बात आके अटक जाती है क्योंकि ये एक बात है जो निवेशकों को बड़ी आसानी से अगर हम समझाएं तब भी समझ में नहीं आती और एलेक्स आज हमारा जो मकसद है दर्शकों को एसेट एलोकेशन के मकसद को समझाना है इसकी जरूरत को समझाना है Asset allocation, they say, is the most important thing for you to learn from the point of view of your managing your finances. In fact, it differs from person to person. It depends on your individual circumstances. We'll speak about what it is and what you need to bear in mind so that you can set your own asset allocation strategy. We've got uh, a panel of experts to help you today. We've got uh, Rupa Venkat Krishnan, who is a director at Sapient Wealth. We've got Shifali Satsangi, who is the founder and chief executive officer of Funds Veda, and we'll soon be joined by Dhruv Mehta, who's chairman of Sapien Wealth Advisors and Brokers. But I want to start uh, by asking you a question, Rupa, and I know this is a concept that's very close to your heart, as I'm sure uh, the other panelists will agree. Uh, asset allocation is absolutely crucial in terms of managing your finances, as I said already. Why is that? Why is it nine tenths of the rule? Uh, thank you, Alex, and uh, good evening, all the viewers. Uh, asset allocation becomes a very important part of an ingredient when you construct your portfolio. Because what happens is asset allocation at all points of time automatically removes your emotions from investing, because markets are cyclical. and you really don't know when to move in and when to move out i think most of the time we look at a very short term period of time but our horizons of wealth creation and uh, long term short term goals are going to be for a longer period of time so asset allocation when you start investing when you're constructing your portfolio becomes a very important part of the ingredient just tell kavita एलेक्स बिल्कुल बहुत खूबसूरती से रूपा आपने बुनियादी बात रखी लेकिन इसी को आगे बढ़ाते हुए शिफाली मुझे ये बताएं एसेट एलोकेशन जैसा कि एलेक्स ने भी शुरुआत में कहा कि एक बहुत ही कस्टमाइज सेटअप है हर किसी को अपनी जरूरत के हिसाब से देखना होता है कि उनके लिए किस तरह का आर्थिक लक्ष्य है उनकी रिस्क की एपिटाइट क्या है और जो अपने लक्ष्य वो निर्धारित करना चाहते हैं उसके लिए कितना इन्वेस्टमेंट ड्यूरेशन है लेकिन क्या एसेट एलोकेशन भी लगातार बदलती रहनी चाहिए क्योंकि समय बदलता है जिस तरह के इन्वेस्टमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स या निवेश के विकल्प आपने अपने पोर्टफोलियो में डाले हैं शिफाली उनकी परफॉर्मेंसेस भी बदलती हैं अब ऐसे में एक इंसान अपने एसेट एलोकेशन में तब्दीली अगर करना चाहे तो वो कौन सी बुनियादी बात होगी जो हमें ध्यान में रखनी चाहिए देखिए इट्स इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट अन साइज इट्स ऑल कॉल ओवर हियर Uh, there are a lot of parameters that you need to look at when you're trying to rebalance an investor's portfolio sabse pehli cheez aapko ye dekhni hoti hai ki aapke jo investor hai uska goal jo hai wo uh, pass mein hai ya nahi if an investor is uh, say nearing his or her investment goal uh, we need to migrate from a riskier asset class to a safer asset class to safeguard that Uh, corpus uh, which he has accumulated over a period of years now second uh, uh, thing that you need to look at is there are three main market drivers so a market rally could be uh, liquidity driven it could be a fundamentally driven rally it can be a sentiment sentiment based rally so when one witnesses that this is not a fundamentally driven rally and there are unjustifiable valuations and there's so much of euphoria and uh, exuberance in the market so that can be a compelling reason 
to uh, you know rebalance your portfolio um, to stagger out the profits uh, in a phased out manner and move out from value uh, overvalued assets uh, into safer assets so yes uh, since it is a liquidity uh, driven rally right now uh, due to the continuous stimulus which has been given by the central bank uh, we saw a lot of uh, investors who had substantial uh, long term gains uh, and who had clocked returns over and above uh, uh, you know certain predefined benchmark return uh, they had uh, booked a lot of profits in a staggered manner thirdly uh, one, when an investor's existing asset allocation deviates or digresses from uh, his uh, defined asset allocation or the ideal asset allocation uh, which had been chosen earlier uh, because of the uh, risk profile according to the risk profile and according to other requirements then uh, it will be a time to rejig the portfolio uh, fourthly uh, you can say that in case there is a personal change in uh, circumstances or uh, say you can say that if there is a job loss or health issues or a death in the family ya kabhi bhi kisi ko uh, emergency requirement chahiye hai funds ki so that can be a compelling reason to move to a safer asset class and uh, rebalance the portfolio lastly hum ye bhi dekh sakte ki ab rebalancing tab bhi karni chahiye jab uh, when we want to uh, weed out the consistent underperformers from your portfolio uh, those uh, schemes which have been consistently are uh, not performing well so uh, when there is a bull market rally it is a very good time to actually move out of these laggards so uh, these are the uh, cases where rebalancing and uh, you know you can rejig your portfolio kavita um you know i'm going to come to you next on this uh, rupa uh, you know we're waiting for dhruv to join in as well uh, but uh, in terms of Uh, when you should rebalance uh, we're in a scenario right now at the start of 2022 and a lot of major events the fed is uh, going to start raising interest rates we're talking about liquidity globally likely to reduce from the heady levels that they have been uh, at uh, how does one position themselves right now both if you have a substantial position in the market right now or if you're starting out at this stage Uh, there has to be a strategic approach to this as well uh so alex when you if you have already invested your assets okay and if you are too skewed towards equity because you have just seen the past returns and you have just gone and put 100% of your money in equities then obviously at some point of time if your risk appetite is not there to take the volatility which is at any point of time we have to understand equities will always correct by 20 25% it could happen at any point of time for any reason that could be but what's important is to understand saying that we what is the risk capital that you have within you now if you don't have the risk capital and the markets have run up and if you're seeing the volatility if you don't have the stomach to take that then obviously it's better to move away take your profits and sit on the sideline and but the difficult part is when do you move in i think most of the time when you talk about moving in and moving out the risk is either you re- the regret of miss- missing out a rally or regret of not getting in early before the crash that there is always a debate between this so that is why asset allocation plays a very important part when you are entering the market if you understand your risk capital you can you can actually allocate between your debt and equ- debt and equities under equities under equities also you can distribute between your large cap mid cap and small cap you can add gold as an asset class so that you know it uh, uh, cushions your portfolio at some times when there is an inflationary kind of pressure when it when you talk about debt even debt can have a way that you can do an asset allocation between short term long term dynamic yield liquid if you do an asset allocation and stay put your assets then your assets get cushioned at any point of time because markets are going to be cyclical markets are always dynamic there is never a case in the last 20 30 years you, it, there is an interest rate moving up interest rate coming out inflation moving up inflation moving out 
लेकिन चर्चा को आगे बढ़ाते हैं और आपसे एक बहुत ही बेसिक सा सवाल है क्योंकि एसेट एलोकेशन ना आम जनता के दिमाग में हमेशा इक्विटी और डेट को लेकर ही होता है मैं चाहती हूं कि आप इसके जो चारों पैरामीटर्स है ना उस पर बात करें न केवल इक्विटी बाजार में आपको निवेश करना होता है न केवल फिक्स इनकम में आपको निवेश करना होता है आजकल आपको तमाम तरह के नए इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑप्शंस भी अगर आप चाहें तो कंसीडर कर सकते हैं लेकिन जो बुनियादी फॉर्मेट है एसेट एलोकेशन का उसमें क्या क्या निवेश के विकल्प शामिल होते हैं ये बताएं चलिए शायद ध्रुव के साथ संपर्क नहीं हो पा रहा है लेकिन शिफाली अगर आपने ये सवाल सुना है तो आप जवाब दे सकती हैं कविता एसिट एलोकेशन एक बहुत ब्रॉडर प्रस्पेक्टिव होता है जहां यू आर Uh, you are spreading out your investments across uh, asset different asset classes so you can have a asset mix of equity fixed income real estate gold mutual funds cash money market securities etc ab uska objective kya hota hai asset allocation ka to diversify your investments into different assets so as to minimize the amount of risk Uh, which is inherent in each asset class. तो हर एक asset class का uh, एक return profile होता है एक risk profile होता है So it is always better कि जब आप asset allocation कर रहे हैं तो अगर आप जैसे सौ रुपए लगा रहे हैं तो सौ रुपए में से ये नहीं कि आपने सौ का सौ आपने रियल इस्टेट में लगा दिया यू शुड ऑलवेज डाइवर्सिफाई कि गोल्ड थोड़ा सा खरीद लिया थोड़ा म्यूचुअल फंड थोड़ा डायरेक्ट एक्विटीज रियल इस्टेट खरीद लिया फिक्सड इनकम में भी डालिए तो इट शुड बी अ कम्प्लीट बास्केट ऑफ यू नो एसेट because uh, you must have uh, heard of the traditional wisdom ke uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket so we firmly believe that जो मैजिक ऑफ वेल्थ क्रिएशन होता है इट लाइज इन द राइट एसेट एलोकेशन है ना क्योंकि जब आप डाइवर्सिफाई करते हैं इन सारे मल्टीपल एसेट क्लासेस में वो आपका जो एक यूटिलाइज कर देता है वॉलेटैलिटी का एंड इट हेल्प्स यू टू मैनेज द रिस्क बेटर सो एक बहुत ही अहम पहलू वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट का होता है रिस्क मैनेजमेंट क्योंकि हर एक टाइम पे हर जैसे रिमेंबर कि एक एट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दे विल बी वन एसिड क्लास जो आपको ऑप्टिमल रिटर्न दे रहा है एक एसिड क्लास होगा जो आपको सब ऑप्टिमल रिटर्न दे रहा है तो आपका रिस्क ऐसे आयरन आउट हो जाता है इवन आउट हो जाता है सो एन अदर थिंग मैं आपको uh, एक ऐड करना चाहूंगी कि रनिंग बिहाइंड एंड एसेट क्लास जिसने एक सुपर सुपर रिटर्न डिलीवर किए हैं या फिलिंग योर पोर्टफोलियो विद अ थीम के जो अभी रिसेंटली प्ले आउट हुई है दैट शुड नॉट बी डन बिकॉज वो वॉलेटैलिटी का को आपके पोर्टफोलियो में बढ़ा देगा सो नो नेवर एवर गो ओवर बोर्ड ऑन एनी एसेट क्लास सो watching this special broadcast it's a jugal bandi episode between the money show and money mantra and we've been speaking about asset allocation and how this is the most important foundation for your personal finance we've been speaking with uh, rupa venkat krishnan uh, shifali satsangi as well as now dhruv mehta dhruv uh, i'm coming to you we've already spoken about the importance of asset allocation what it is and how do you start with it but i think a common problem that a lot of people face and this is quite a practical issue is that they told that when they have shorter term goals uh, they need to allocate money towards fixed income instruments if they have longer term goals like retirement for example they need to allocate towards equity so how do they balance their short term and long term goals and the overall asset allocation suppose they're supposed to have a 60 30 10 towards gold equ- sorry equity fixed income and gold how do they manage that so i think uh, as you said ke time horizon sabse important and is the most important element 
that one has to keep in mind when deciding asset allocation. The time factor is the most important thing. And generally, every investor knows for you know what duration he wants to invest the money or when he will need the money if it is for a specific purpose. And once that is clear, what becomes apparent is that you, for a short period, you need to be very sure that when you are putting money for a one year, you will get the expected return on that period. And therefore, because equity is a very volatile asset, it keeps going up and down. People are generally not able to figure out or predict that it will or it And therefore, that is why it is advised that for a short period, put your money into fixed income. And uh, based on the time horizon, then you decide how to allocate your money. It is like, what uh, simple is if I have to, my destination is long. Say, for example, if I have to go from here to USA, I mean, the only way of transport that is uh, convenient or possible is that I have to take a flight. I cannot go walking or I cannot go by train or I cannot go by ship. But if my distance is very near, if I just want to go from Nariman Point to Churchgate, I cannot take or I, it's not possible to fly. I have to walk. So asset allocation is something like that. You have to choose the asset class based on your uh, time horizon and your, you know, the period that you have, which will help you in deciding it. Dhruv ji, one question asset allocation and investment instruments ke andar bhi diversification par mein aapse poochna chahti hoon. Aapne bilkul sahi kaha ki aapka nivesh ka nazariya kitna lamba hai, aapka lakshya kya hai, uske mutabik aapko asset allocation mein ranniti banati brani chahiye. Hum bhaartiyo hai aur bhaarti hoonne ke naate humara paramparik prem jo hai, wo property se hai, sone se hai. Equity mein hum dekh rahe hai ki nivesho ka rujhan ab dhire dhire bardha ja raha hai, khas taur se 2021 mein humne dekha hai jo bhaagidari badi hai. लेकिन जो फिक्स्ड इनकम है ना उसमें भी लोग अभी काफी हद तक फिक्स डिपॉजिट पर ही ज्यादा मोहित रहते हैं क्योंकि उन्हें वहां लगता है कि सिक्योरिटी ज्यादा है कितना क्या समय आ गया है कि हम डेट में अगर मैं पूछना चाहूं इसको डाइवर्सिफाई करें अपने पोर्टफोलियो में बहुत सारे हमने किस्से देखे हैं पिछले साल की बात करें या उससे पहले भी बात करें डेट को डाइवर्सिफाई करना एक रेगुलर फ्लो ऑफ इनकम को सुनिश्चित करना भी होता है इसको आप कैसे समझाएंगे हां तो वो बहुत जरूरी है अगर किसी निवेशक को हर महीने कुछ इनकम चाहिए फॉर पर्पसेस it could be के अपना रोज का आदमी अगर रिटायर हो गया है और उसको instead of his salary he wants a regular income तो फिर fixed income ही उपाय है कि आपको जहाँ पे regular income मिलेगी every month so वो तो जरूरी है for a person who needs a regular income उसके अलावा once your regular income is then taken care of then you have to decide के बाकी का मेरे पास अगर surplus पैसा है तो वो मैं कहाँ invest करूँ so मेरे हिसाब से अगर आपको रेगुलर इनकम चाहिए तो देन यू नीड टू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ फिक्स्ड इनकम इंस्ट्रूमेंट जो आपको एवरी मंथ यू नो आपको इंटरेस्ट ब्याज या कैश फ्लो आपको देगा right understood uh, you know i want to come to you rupa on uh, perhaps the last word and i'm sure that a lot of your clients a lot of uh, hnis a lot of people with wealth uh, and even those that are looking to make wealth quickly uh, are asking about alternatives like crypto assets we're seeing as we speak a bit of a correction in that market what advice are you giving to people when it comes to these newer assets so Alex, crypto is very complicated, so I don't understand very complicated and I don't understand it. So I have always been very vocal about it and saying that hey, I don't understand it, so I can't give any idea on it. And I just avoid people investing in it because you can't invest in, a, in an instrument where you don't even know where it is invested, what is the basic formula of it. So I avoid people investing into cryptos. Uh, Alex, I just wanted to add when it comes to asset allocation, I think while building any asset allocation framework, 
it is critical to understand that these are only not precise timing tools. This, this can only reduce a controllable risk, you know. These are not guaranteed a kind of things for asset allocation. You can just prevent and the downside risk on your portfolio. You know, I think we've had a, 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 an insightful conversation and what I've taken from this, from this panel is that consistency is absolutely key uh, when you are planning your asset allocation strategy, more so than the product you eventually choose to make up that al asset allocation strategy. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you, Rupa, as well as Shifali and uh, Dhruv as well. Uh, from Kavita and myself and the team that put this show together, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure bringing you this show. Do stay tuned.